Hey everybody, Bionic Dance here. So, a lot of people have been making videos about the scientific problems with the movie Prometheus. And I get it, you know? I'm on board with it. Um, there's a lot of problems with this movie and the weird sort of like religious implications and the, the insinuations that they try to make and all that shit. And again, I'm on board. Right there with you. But there's another problem with this movie that I think, honestly, is the real problem with this movie. And, I mean, it, it's just my enjoyment of it was very much diminished by this problem, this, this thing. It's a problem that a lot of modern day current movies have, I've noticed. And it's something that I, I think really needs to be discussed. And that is the fact that I did not give a flying fuck about any of the characters. Seriously, none of them mattered to me. I couldn't tell you any of their names. Um, I believe that the android characters' names started with a C, and they did that because in Alien, the android was Ash, and in Aliens, the android was Bishop, and so A, B, C, and whatever the hell his name was, Chris, Chad, Chester, I don't fucking remember. And I don't remember the name of, of uh, what was it, Waylon's daughter, niece, granddaughter? I don't fucking know. Charlize Theron's character? I don't remember her name. The main character, the scientist bitch who's, who was like uh, uh, also really religious for no good reason. I don't remember her name either or her boyfriend or any of that stuff. The characters were not memorable. I, I, I don't care about any of them when they died. I mean, who's the dude with the shaved head and the tattoos? I don't remember his name, and he dies, and whatever. And then there's those those two guys, right, where uh, uh, they're, they're sort of co-pilots or something, and they had some bet, and I don't even remember what the bet was, where it was like, well, I bet we find aliens. Well, I bet we don't. Blah, 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 or whatever it was they were betting on. I don't remember. Uh, it, it, that came off more like a, like a gimmick to try to make the characters memorable than actually writing good characters. Because I don't remember anything else about them other than the fact that they had this little bet and they somehow helped pilot the ship. Seriously, that's all I remember about those two. And I remember one of them was Asian, but I can't call up the face of the other one. That's it. I just, they're not people to me. And I find more and more that the movies I remember best, the movies I connect to best, have characters that I give a shit about. They're people I would want to hang out with. They're people I wish I knew. And in some cases, people I wish I were where I would, like, trade places with them, you know, have their adventure or something, because they were really cool and they were surrounded by good friends. I mean, as long as we're in this particular universe, let's talk about Aliens, the one directed by James Cameron, okay? Here's a picture of the Marines, the Colonial Marines. I can tell you the names of pretty much everybody in that picture, I can tell you something about their character. They stuck with me. Their names were mentioned often enough. They were shown the interactions between them and the other characters enough that I grew attached to them. I cared when they died. I mean, even Bill Paxton's character, Hudson, right? Dude was a, a, a jerk. Dude was an asshole. And, you know, he was like a, a blustering coward. But. I still kind of cared about the fact that when he died, I was like, oh no, they got Hudson. You know, it was just like, these were characters that I cared about. And I can tell you, like I say, tell you something about them. I mean, Hicks was sort of the, the, the stalwart, steadfast one who, who held everybody together, right? And Vasquez was, well, kind of like the token lesbian. At least everyone thinks that's what she was. She was certainly tomboyish enough, but I don't know if she was actually a lesbian. A lot of people think she was. 
you know. And you've got Apone is is the sergeant who, who kind of holds everyone together too, well, almost like Hicks. Only he's he's got more of that like rough and ready kind of guy going on. And then you've got uh, uh, Pharaoh, the pilot, and you know she was kind of brash, uh, kind of full of herself. It seemed like, but you know, I mean, she was um, she was all right. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, you've got, uh, uh, Wierzbowski. Actually, I didn't know a lot about Wierzbowski, except that he had a weird name. Uh, he got killed kind of early on, it seemed like. But you've got Drake, who was kind of like, um, I don't know if he was Vasquez's bigger brother sort of kind of guy, uh, or if they were just, you know, um... I mean, they had kind of a brother-sister or really good friends relationship going on. Um, obviously, he, he was not her actual brother because, you know, Vasquez was supposed to be Hispanic and Drake obviously wasn't. But they, they had this, this sort of, like, like best friends thing going on. You know, and these were all relationships these characters had. And you could grow attached to them. And you didn't have that in Prometheus. It just wasn't there. Uh, I, I can name all kinds of characters in other movies like this. I mean, come on, Star Wars? Fucking Star Wars had all sorts of... I mean, you know, Luke was the, the brash young hero, and Han Solo was the, the you know, the, the sort of the, the bad boy kind of guy, you know? And, and Princess Leia ha had that, that sort of, like, like... I mean, she was obviously a princess, but she was also pretty, like, like... I don't know, snarky and stuff, you know, and, and, and I mean, 3PO and R2 had that relationship. I mean, you really get to know these characters. You get to care about them. You get to, to you know, think, like, this is who they are. I could see myself being friends with them. But the folks in Prometheus, no, uh-uh, didn't happen. I, I didn't care about any of the characters, none of them. And that was the real problem. I mean, hell, even the original Alien, which I did not like that much, I can tell you a lot about those characters. I can certainly tell you their names, and, and I, I can tell you sort of who they were. And, I mean, th the relationships were developed between these characters. Okay, Columbia, stop that. Come on, knock it off. Sorry, my cat's being snarky. Um point is, I mean, I mean, uh, take the movie Explorers, which I absolutely adore. It was Ethan Hawke's first movie. It had uh, um, River Phoenix in it, and uh, directed by Joe Dante, one of my favorite directors. I mean, I could tell you a lot about those characters and a lot about that movie. There was just something about it. And, okay, it's probably not fair to bring TV shows into this because they at least get to have multiple hours, multiple, like, episodes to really develop who the characters are, but even so, I mean, I can name television shows with characters that I care about just the same. Um, another movie, Ghostbusters. I mean, come on. I mean, the plot of a movie is is great. The, the, the scenario, the situation is great. I, it, it's wonderful when you have uh, a well-developed uh, sort of scenario like that. But if the characters are crap, the movie is crap. Okay? You have to develop the characters. And a lot of present-day movies are not doing this. It's like they're, they're doing what my parents always bitched about, about the movies I loved when I was a kid. It's like the... the the, the special effects are taking over from character and story. Now, I love special effects. Fuck it, I'm an animator. But the characters are what matter. Really. Seriously. If, if you're indifferent to the characters, your movie is not going to be memorable. It's not going to be something that people want on DVD. It's not going to be something that people are going to want to watch over and over and over. I mean... I have movies on my shelf. Fuck it, I have a shit ton of movies over there. Okay, that's all DVDs, all of it. And that that collection is, you know, I mean, it's full of movies with memorable characters and special effects, but the characters came first. I'm sorry, but that is the real problem with Prometheus, is that 
it, it, it was just badly written, character-wise. And the science was shit. I mean, let's not forget that part. But regardless of that, I mean, forget it. If they had not... If, if they had written good characters and it was still a shit movie, I probably would have hated it a lot less. I might even have liked it despite its flaws. But it's unforgivable that the characters were shit. Just saying. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. Droids don't pull people's arms out of their sockets when their videos aren't rated. Bionic dancers are known to do that.